On the plans, these are called flue stoppers. For a calliope, I believe the correct name is a block. But they're for the four different size pipes, one inch, seven eighths, three quarter, and five eighths. These are all printed on the under three, and they're all printed on a brim. The brim comes off, you throw that away, and it leaves a bit of a burr on the bottom here. I use a file, just drag it across that. Take a sharp blade, and I just scrape that off. I do that until that burr is completely gone. When these go into the pipe, the flat of this block needs to be parallel to these two corners. So when you're shoving this up inside the pipe, and on a full-size pipe, this is seven inches. Once you get it up into position, you need some way to adjust that. Nothing is said about that in the plans. On the bottom of the two larger sizes, I have a 5 16 hex. That's a half inch deep. And on the two smaller sizes, it's a quarter inch hex. That allows me to turn that a little bit when it gets up here into this position because I can't have it this way or that way. It has to be parallel. When I get that plug into position, I can turn that a little bit and inspect it and keep adjusting it until it's parallel. And I want that face to be level with this piece of aluminum. Right now, it's a little bit above that. Almost there, not quite. It's pretty close. Printing all of this took about 40 hours, plus the uh, time to prototype and get the fit correct for each pipe. The inside diameter of the pipe is irregular to some extent. It takes a while to zero in on what size they should be. These were called out to be made out of wood doll. Printing this on the 3D printer is a lot more accurate and consistent. I doubt seriously that I would get the consistency of making all of these parts using the quality of today's wood doll. When this is printed, this is all in layers and has a little bit of a rough texture. We want to finish this. We want this edge right here to be sharp. Now we have a nice crisp edge that will direct that air across this edge of the opening of the airway or the mouth. I usually make a few extra of these just in case one gets messed up somewhere in the process. I don't want to have to back up and do it all over again. When you're installing one of these plugs in the actual pipe, that's going to be up there quite a ways and you're not going to find an Allen wrench that's long enough. So I'm using a piece of hex, this is 5 16 and you stick it up in here and engage that with that block, then use a wrench to turn that. After you get the plug lined up and everything, and this is just a piece of scrap pipe that I've been practicing on, it becomes a whistle. I close off the end of it, pretty loud. These were printed at different wall thicknesses and different infill. 
And what will happen when you change from all infill and this hex socket starts to develop, you'll start to get a line across here. A little bit different rate of shrinkage. It shows up the most on these small ones. And there's not much of a wall thickness to play with here. This is getting pretty thin. That and the inside wall diameter varies a bit on this aluminum pipe and quite a bit on the smaller pipe. And consequently, the prototypes are the most difficult to develop for these small ones.